I am headed to Slate. It's my first stop on my East Coast city tour for my variety show that I am taking to the people. So, New York, thank you so much. I can't wait to see you at Slate. Mwah. So you guys ready for the one you all came to see? Please keep the energy of applause going. You guys all know you're here for the time. Make some noise for Karen Hugh, everybody. I truly hope that you guys are enjoying yourselves. We have a lot in store for you. I can't wait to engage each and every one of you. So when I pass the mic around at a certain time called the panel discussion, I want to hear what you got to say to me, okay? But without further ado, I always love, you know, people ask me, how did I come up with this, okay? And I can tell you it's from dating Raymond Huger, okay? Ray in the day used to set up a cozy little moment for me, okay? I'm gonna listen to jazz. That's my husband Ray over there. But he would instinctively choose an environment that would pull the group together. You know, it was tiny, it was cozy. I think he just wanted to cozy up to me. I'm just saying. So we've been cozying up to one another for 26 years now. And my daughter is here tonight supporting her mom, Raven Huger. But without further ado, I want to bring to the stage a phenomenal woman, a beautiful vocalist, and a light, a soulful light to the world, Miss Crystal Warder. <laughs> and that you guys embrace this idea. And you know, for me, it was about, you know, sharing the love. They call me the Grand Dom, okay? Everyone has a Grand Dom moment. Look, I'll share with you my most famous Grand Dom moment, in my opinion, over the last seven years, was when the wig shifted, okay? Come on now. That was a moment. Hold on. Let me just be very real. That moment was very real and it was sink or swim for me and I decided to swim. I locked that wig down and it was the moment that I knew I was made for reality TV. Having said that, I want to know what was, again, your grand dame moment. All of us have one. Well, we'll start with you. Go ahead. I have had many grand time moments. <laughs> Iconic moments, yes. 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 So, because it ultimately makes you who you are, you know. Can we say an amen? <laughs> I think my number one grand time moment 
in my career was The Death Becomes Her. <laughs> it was a story. Is anyone in the audience that's had a grand dame moment? You want to raise your hand and I pass you a mic? Because I'm interested to know. Okay. Yeah, we're not doing Grom Dumb, we're doing Miss Karen Huger. Her so Grom Dumb moment is asking this question. Yeah, That's what uh, it is. So my Grom, I'm, I'm, I'm pulling the shade, Karen. I'm pulling the shade. Go ahead, darling. Go ahead. So my question is, did T'Challa really attack your ass during the, the hierarchy? Did he attack you? No. Yeah, T'Challa. T'Challa. Oh, T'Challa. Listen, Chitala went after what Chitala wanted, and that was Wendy, not Karen. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm okay with Wendy, but that bird did not want me. That bird loved me, okay? Just be real. It went directly after my girl Wendy. Let's keep that very clear. Thank you for that question and clarification. <laughs> and tell Wendy I love her, okay? And I do. Anybody else with a grand dame moment they want to share? One more, please. I love you, baby. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Right here in the center. In center? Hi. You know, we're blind here, we but I hear Karen. you, darling. Speak to me. This is a question for everybody on the panel. Okay. What real housewife from a different city, would you want to have a dinner followed by a wild night out in New York City with? A wild Ooh. night out? If I had to choose a housewife, I would choose Kenya Moore. All right, yes, ma'am. Because I would go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, wit to wit, moment to moment, and she has evolved. So I'd like to have that moment with Kenya Moore. And I think she's genuine, too. She's genuine, yeah. you know, and we all evolve, and I've watched her evolve, and motherhood looks good on her. Divorce looks even better. <laughs> Freedom is a wonderful thing when it's a wrong fit, ladies and men. I'm just saying, you know, don't, don't, waste, don't waste a day of your life. Uh, I want to thank you guys for coming out, and I hope you truly enjoy the evening with the Grand Dame and friends. Thank you so much. Shout out to my drag race sisters.